All right, y'all. So today what we're going to go over is I'm going to share with you guys exactly how many of us are ruining our hormones. When I say ruin, I mean like causing hormone imbalances before 12 p.m. even comes around the clock and how we can fix this. So this way you can optimize your morning to have much better energy, positivity, better hormones, and less stress. All these things combined is going to help tremendously when it comes to your weight loss journey. So that's exactly what I'm going to share with you all here today. Okay, let's dive into it. So this is a, a graph of what the typical person looks like right now when it comes to like their morning routines, if they're trying to lose weight. Not everybody's like this, but I'm just giving a small example. Okay. We often wonder like, you know, why are my hormones so wacky? Why do I always feel up and down? Why do I always feel off? I don't feel like my mental side of things is stable. I feel like I have low energy. I'm getting crashes. This is exactly why, y'all. okay? This is a huge, huge reason why, okay? So let's say this is our typical routine right now. So we get up in the morning, you know, we wake up, no morning routine. Immediately, as soon as we wake up, a lot of us, what we do is we typically grab our phones, right? We'll use a washroom, we grab our phones. As soon as we grab our phones, it's instant anxiety, okay? The second part is we start thinking about yesterday's problems, right? We start thinking about all the things we got to do in our lives and all the, all the problems and everything we got going on. These things are immediately, immediately already raising your cortisol levels, your stress levels, okay? The next thing that adds on to is a lot of us are not optimizing our sleep. We're not getting enough good enough sleep at nighttime. And that's very, very damaging because lack of sleep is going to mess up many, many hormones, your cortisol levels, your hunger hormones. It's not going to get you feeling too good at all. Okay. It's going to really affect your, your, your energy levels as well. So we wake up, let's say we didn't sleep as good in the nighttime, right? We check our phone immediately. Already, as soon as we wake up, we're already feeling a little bit more stressed out. We're already feeling anxiety and uh, we're already kind of doing our hormones a disservice by not sleeping properly, okay? Then we wake up, let's say we don't have a morning routine, right? So we're rushing out the door to work. We, uh, we don't have morning routine, so we're rushing. Rushing equals stressed out again. We grab our coffee too soon on the way of the door as well. We drink it too soon. We don't get the actual benefits. Instead, we get the jittery stuff that we don't want, which is again, going to raise our cortisol levels. It's not going to be good for our hormones. Then on the way of the door, we grab maybe a quick snack or a meal before the day, right? So we grab a bagel, uh, put some cream cheese on or something like that. Now we're spiking our insulin levels, our blood sugar, and it's terrible for our gut health, which impacts our hormones as well. Okay. And then next thing you know, we're in traffic and more stress, right? Because we can't handle the stress and traffic because our mornings and we didn't sleep good and we're eating unhealthy foods. So now our gut health isn't feeling good. So this is all happening right in the morning as soon as we wake up y'all and then we wonder why around like 12 p.m like why am i not feeling good why is my energy terrible why do i have such bad cravings you know why is my mental health so poor and, and i'm not in a good place or i'm not stable feeling we wonder and we wonder and we wonder why we feel those ways but if we just reflect back on what we're doing on a daily basis especially in the morning before 12 p.m even hits the clock these are all the reasons why Okay, we're not setting ourselves up for success. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do a 180 with this. So that way, ladies, your hormones are going to be so much more balanced and you're going to be feeling so much more better. Like I'm talking like way better energy, no more midday crashes, much more better positivity and a better outlook on life as well. Much more better control over our emotions, much better hunger hormones as well. So control over cravings and hunger and overall just better gut health and feeling better. And it's just a few switches. It's literally just a few switches here, but you'll see how far this can truly go when it comes to making this change. So let's say this is us right now, right? We wake up in the morning, we rush, we check our phones, we're stressed out. We don't have a morning routine. So we immediately get up, we get ready for the day. You know, we, uh, we're rushing. So we grab something quickly to eat and then we're on the road to work. We're, and we're just doing all these things that are messing us up before the day even starts. Okay, so here is the quick switch. Okay, the quick switch. So you tomorrow, and all you got to do here, guys, it's about preparing. It's about setting ourselves up for success, right? So the key here, very first one is now have a morning routine. So let's say we wake up maybe a little bit earlier than usual. We get a good solid sleep in. So we wake up, we're already feeling way better because our energy levels are better. Our hormones are much more optimized. Our stress is better under control. Our emotional state is much better. So we wake up, we have a great sleep, right? So we wake up, perfect. We're feeling good. 
Then we don't check our phones. We have a morning routine. Let's say that morning routine is for you to immediately get outside, go for a quick little 10 minute walk into the sun. Amazing for your hormones, amazing for your body, amazing for your sleep routine as well. If you get immediately uh, um, um, sun exposure in the morning, immediate sun exposure. Okay. So let's say we do that. Then we come home, we meditate. Okay. We meditate for five, 10 minutes, helps us put ourselves in the present moment. So that way we can handle our emotions much better throughout the day, rather than stress eating, binge eating, doing all those things that don't serve our weight loss. Okay. So we meditate, we control our stress. We get our mindsets ready for the day. We're ready to tackle life stresses and events. Okay. Now we take the time and we grab a great breakfast. We make ourselves up a nice breakfast, amazing for our blood sugar levels, amazing for our gut health, amazing for our goals and amazing energy. So we're fueling our bodies properly. We're not feeling bloated. We don't feel crappy. We don't feel sad. No, we feel energized, ready to rock and roll. Then at the right time, we have a coffee, we head to work. You go to work, there's traffic still, but you handle it much better this time. You're okay with it because now you're feeling in control, right? So before this routine here of doing things the old way, this is going to cause low energy, poor skin. This is going to cause like poor skin health and the way we, our skin looks, weight gain, poor mental health, lack of control feeling, always rushing all over the place feeling, unbalanced hormones and low drive, low motivation. This way, by doing this and taking control of the morning, right? Win the morning, win the day. You're going to have amazing energy. You're going to be kept full. There's not going to be any sugar spikes, nothing like that, or crashes. You're going to have a weight loss routine and control feeling. You're optimized hormones, better confidence levels, better skin, just a better life overall. And this is all from a few tiny switches, guys, right in the morning. This is why routine optimization is so important. This is just before 12 p.m. hits the clock, right? When my clients come on board, it's one of the very first things that we focus on is routine optimization. Nobody talks about this stuff. Nobody does this stuff. And it's one of the most important things to success because number one, it's going to make it so easy for you to build habits in your lives. How do we build a habit? By doing the same thing consistently over time, over and over and over again. How, what's the easiest way to do that? Build it into your real life routine, right? Have it stack, build it into your personal routine. Find what works best for you personally. Same thing with working out. Instead of playing the guessing game of when I should go work out, what to work out, build it into, the, build it into our routines, right? Same thing with food prep. Food prep days, what works best for you? Is it Sundays? Is it prepping your lunch every morning? Find what works best for you, build it into the routine. This way, you're already done half the battle of weight loss. Because you're setting yourself up for success. You're being prepared and planned. You're being in control, which is the best feeling ever. Okay. I promise y'all these switches here in this tray I'm sharing with y'all today is going to be an absolute, absolute game changer when it comes to your weight loss, your mental health, your confidence, feeling better, skin health, everything. These few switches. And all it is, is just having a morning routine, setting yourself up for success, eating the right foods for your body and your health and your goals having a lunch, everything prepared there and controlling your stress, controlling your mind, getting your mind under control before the day even starts, right? Through meditation, walking, exposure into nature, whatever you gotta do, reading, whatever it looks like, find what works best for you person. For example, guys, my routine here is every morning I wake up and I'll read and I'll meditate and I'll clean myself up. And this week I'm working out, but usually instead of that, I will, uh, I will have a coffee in the sun, Okay. After getting those things done, I'll get ready to work. And that helps me get control of my mindset, helps me control my stress, helps me get some quick wins in the morning. So I feel productive. I'm on the right track. When I was younger, before I was into really working out and eating healthy, I was the same person. I was waking up, you know, 20 minutes before work. And back in the day, I used to do like carpentry and uh, other jobs as well as a personal trainer. And uh, I would wake up in the morning though, like even before I started working out though, like I was waking up rushing to work in the morning, rushing to school, whatever it was, all over the place, eating terrible food, feeling terrible, poor mental health, not feeling good in my skin. And it's like, looking back now, I wonder why, but it's like all those actions, they all matter so much, y'all. Okay. So that's the train for today. Very quick, very powerful, very effective. If you set this up, I promise you, it's going to cause some wonders. It's going to cause some amazing, amazing changes when it comes to your weight loss. I cannot stress this enough. Try this. Build on a morning routine specifically for focusing on getting your mindset ready for the day, getting your food on track for the day as well. Those are the two biggest things is getting the mindset so we can control our stress, anxiety, stuff like that, our emotions better, 
And then getting our food on track as well. So that way our gut health, our blood sugar, insulin, everything else is much better. And our lunch is prepped as well. Okay. So take control, predictable routine, optimize for you personally and what works best for your life. And then you can add in the little things as you go. Now, if you guys need some help with this, if you do need some help with your weight loss, like if you've been stuck for a while, um, you're not getting results, or you just need someone to guide you to help making this a permanent change and not a quick fix, message me CH and I'll show you how I can help you out one-to-one. -one. All right. But today's training, that is it for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it.